Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tom and today I'm at opening day 2023 of the Elephant's Trunk Flea Market in New Milford, Connecticut. Hi, two? Yeah. Here's your ticket, man. Oh, I got a ticket? Yeah. You have to put it in the bucket. You have to put it in the bucket? Thanks. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. All right. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go this way. As always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit the notification bell. It really helps. Thanks. Well, last year when I was here on opening day, it was raining and snowing. So oh. this is a little bit better than that. Yeah, the only issues with the flea market this year on opening day were the high winds, which were, I think, probably 20 miles an hour or more. So it got pretty windy and it was cold, uh, nowhere near as cold as it was at the Mansfield Drive-In flea market the week before. But with the wind chill, it felt colder. Like it's got, you know, the old New Haven. Yeah. 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 Old steam shovel. Oh. It's just like, you gotta... It was busier than this. No idea. If anybody knows what that is, let me know in the comments. See these always bend like that? Yeah. I'm sure there's a way to fix it, but I don't know how. Well, probably storing with a rubber band around them doesn't help, you know. No, but they all look like that. Them up. When you see them anytime, they're almost yeah. always bent up like that. For some reason, I've been seeing a lot of these boxes of 1988 Donruss baseball cards at a lot of flea markets recently. Not sure why. Um, they tend to go for about 10 to $15 a box on eBay, so I wouldn't pay much more than that. Not sure what this seller was asking, though, as I wasn't really interested in buying it. And um, this robot toy here, it kind of looks like a 1950s or 60s Japanese toy, but I don't think it is, just based on that barcode there on the bottom right. That to me would indicate it's much more modern, probably in the last 10 to 15 years or so. I spend more time looking for them than my son. Is that a big frog for you? Yeah, a little bit. I think it's supposed to, I think it's silver. No. I'm not entirely sure. It's some transformer, electrical transformer of some sort. So 
looks like it's made out of the oh, same stuff those uh, electrical insulators are. Yep, yep. Very cute. Yeah. <laughs> 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 As far as I can tell, this toy is either from the 70s or 80s. I was only able to find two listings on eBay. One listing says it's from the 70s, one says it's from the 80s. I'm leaning more towards the 80s though, just based on the way it looks, uh, being made of pretty much all plastic as far as I can tell. That doesn't look like 70s to me, there's just something about it that says 80s. And from the one sold listing I found, it seems to sell for about $17, $18 roughly. But that's just one sale, so that price doesn't really mean too much. heavy wood. I don't know what that is. Once again, does anybody know what this is? It's got a little dial on the front, and then when you open the lid, there appeared to be a sheet of glass inside it. So I'm not really sure what that was. And I know, I should have yeah. asked the vendor, but I really don't like to ask people no what idea. the thing is if I don't have any intention of buying it, because I don't want to waste their time. This Batmobile caught my eye. This is from the 1992 film Batman Returns. And it's in decent condition. There's a few scratches on it. So, you know, it's a little rough. And I don't think that's the original Batman. I'm actually pretty certain that's not the original Batman that would have come with it. But other than that, it looks to be complete, as far as I can tell. Hi. How much is the Batmobile? 30 bucks. 30 bucks? Okay. Okay, so I should have checked the price on that on eBay while I was at the flea market because that toy seems to be selling for between $85 and $275 loose like that on eBay. So, oh well, you can't win them all. Hey, how do you get your GoPro to go to your phone? Um, it actually doesn't go to my phone. I just It's a um, memory card, and I just plug it into a USB into my computer and download it that way. 
It can go to the phone, but it's like real slow doing it that way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What is that? Is that a Hess? This is that part of the Hess. No, I don't think so. It's funny. Neat. This guy had a great selection of old Led Zeppelin vinyl records. There's Led Zeppelin 1, Led Zeppelin 2. He's got a lot of copies of them. I've never seen that many different copies. And I don't know that much about the values on LPs like this. I know I've seen some that are real cheap, like a couple dollars. But then this one he's asking 175 And the rest of them were all pretty pricey as well. That one's 400 and I know the prices are based on like the pressing, like is it the first pressing, is it the, the British pressing, the US pressing, little things like that. I don't know all the ins and outs of it, but, um, but yeah, those are impressive to have that many different copies of those albums, which are great albums. Led Zeppelin, love it. This Mickey Mouse radio is from the 1960s. It's made by GE. And according to eBay, it sells for as little as $15 up to about $30. Uh, I did find three completed sales for it. So that does seem to be a, a rough estimate on its value. I was kind of interested in buying it, but the condition was a little bit too rough for my liking. You can see it has scrapes and scratches and marks all over it. So I decided to pass. Here's an original Teddy Ruxpin from 1985. It looks to be in decent condition, except it is missing the battery door on the back. And it's very likely that it doesn't work or it doesn't work properly. I have one of these actually that was working back in 2018. I actually have a video on it. But since then, it's just been sitting in the box and it just stopped working. So it needs a total refurb and I'm always looking for a replacement. Teddy Ruxpin. Old nightlight. It's a nightlight. Oh, cute. You just plug it right into the receptacle. At first I wasn't sure what this was. I thought it might be a hair dryer or a heat gun possibly, but it's actually a uh, timing light for a car's uh, timing belt. This guy had a nice selection of old Star Wars toys. These are the uh, Power of the Force 2 series from 1995. I believe the red ones were the original ones from 95, and then in the next few years, 96, 97, 98, they came out with the green boxes. And back in the day, those were worth quite a lot. They were really popular, but since then the prices have plummeted. How you doing, folks? Good, how are you? Are you going to keep them sealed? 
Tony, how's your health? <laughs> there goes that one. All the um, Star Wars are, uh, these are all five each. Feel free okay. to dig through. And these ones are all 10 each regardless of what it says. Okay, thanks. Five dollars each is just about what they're worth nowadays. Uh, like I said, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, they were worth quite a bit more. Some of the figures were going, you know, for probably ten times that. Big crack in it. Oh, yeah. Big old. some Xbox 360 games, uh, but these are actually European releases, I believe, based on that Peggy rating in the uh, bottom left corner with the number in it. Those are not the American ESRB ratings. From what I understand, you can play these on a US Xbox 360, but you might have to tweak some settings on your Xbox for them to work, because they are designed to be used basically in Europe. Here's a nice old Mercury 3.9 horsepower outboard motor. Based on the appearance, and I'm not an expert on these, it looks like it's probably from the 60s or 70s to me. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Here's some old Connecticut license plates. These are mostly from the 1930s, it looks like. And I didn't realize there were so many different colors for license plates back then. So you got the standard blue, and then you got kind of a silver white one, and then red. I think red nowadays means repair plate. So that might be a repair plate, I'm not sure. And I have no idea what the silver one would be. not sure how old this coke bottle is here it doesn't look like anything I've ever seen in the store so just based on the appearance I'm thinking maybe 70s or 80s but I'm not entirely sure on that This is probably one of the largest selections of Evil Knievel toys I've seen in quite a while. These are Hollywood Super Specs. They look like probably 1950s or 60s based on the illustrations. This computer game caught my eye. This is StarCraft II Wings of Liberty, the Collector's Edition. I have the Basic Edition at home. It's a really good game, too. Um, while this box isn't completely factory sealed, everything inside it is still sealed. And I checked online. It tends to sell for about like $75 or more on eBay. 
Um, this one he was asking 40 so because I liked the game so much and because the price was reasonable, I picked it up. How's Hi, it going? good. How much is uh, the StarCraft 2 box? Yeah, fair forty yeah, bucks of seal. Thanks again. Yeah, yeah, that's seventy-five to a buck and a half all day. Okay. Yep. Hey, I'll take it for forty. All right. Thank you all right, so thank much. Thank you. Look at this old duster. Oh yeah. Looks like something from a cartoon. <laughs> funeral home thermometer. Mitchell oh, funeral home. Uh, that's funny. Um, Looks like it leaked out. Oh yeah. The mercury oh. leaked out. Monument Company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Mercury leak out of that one too. Mm -hmm. I think this is one of those old magic slides. The big, oh. the big slides, the glass ones. Yeah. One of those projectors. This one too. Well, our Oklahoma plate is interesting. Yeah. Whoa. Jeez. Is that a Connecticut one? What's that one back there? Which one? 1785. The town of something. I can't remember. Uh, oh. Town of Berlin, Connecticut. Oh. Some vanity type. Yeah, so that would have been uh, 99, 1999, or 1997, something like that. Excuse me, how much are the uh, bird cards? The whole pack? Yeah. There's about 50 of them, there would be $20. 20 bucks? Are you all that I think they're dated 1961, if I remember Yeah, it looks correctly. like maybe Definitely 66, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. These no. are Brook Bond um, tea cards from 1966, so and they look a lot like the old cigarette cards that would come in cigarette yeah, packs, yeah. but obviously these came in, I guess, packs of tea. I guess so. $20 doesn't sound bad, but they are going for a lot less on eBay, and those particular cards were a bit stained, so I did pass. Here's some original Cabbage Patch Kids from the 80s. I usually don't see these too often, especially ones in the original box. Uh, the boxed one on the left, she has at 65, and the boxed one on the right at 35. Which I looked on eBay, that seems to be roughly what they're going for. But again, I'm not an expert. But it's just nice to see those because, like I said, I very rarely see them. I think I've only seen them before at an antique mall, and they were asking a lot more than that. So here's something I've never seen before at a flea market. Deer spines. You want some spines? 
I'm guessing they're deer spines that they just let rot. Yeah, a little bit. Need to get Velcro. an example of how bad the wind was. The wind blew that painting down that was underneath the table and it hit my bag and it blew over that rack as well. It was crazy. The wind was blowing stuff all over the place at this show. This is like the one I have. Oh, okay. The one that was up in that uh, that suitcase in the attic forever. Yeah. This is heavy. This is like. It is. Yeah. And they make the other ones that are plastic that look almost yep, the same. Yep. I believe these piggy banks were made in 1976 as part of the bicentennial. Like these right here. Here's a whole bunch of old Smurf toys from the 80s. These are little plastic figures. And back in the day, they would have sold probably for 10, 25 cents each, something like that. Not a lot at all. And nowadays, as you can see, he's asking five a piece. I've seen them being sold for even more than that. It's kind of amazing how, how much the prices went up on these. But that's happened on pretty much all toys from the 80s. And there you have it. That's the end of part one of opening day at the Elephant's Trunk Flea Market in New Milford, Connecticut. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I do plan to have a couple more parts to this video, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.